Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, FPL Consult here and once again today we have for you guys my Game Week 30 team selection video. So um, as usual, I will be going through my team selection for Game Week uh, 30. I won't be using a free hit this week, so a bit of a spoiler there. But I want to start off this video by giving you guys a bit of updates uh, on the latest news. Most of us already know that um, the double Game Weeks have been announced, so Game Week 31 and 33. So I'll go into a little bit of it to kind of explain why some fixtures are confirmed and why some aren't and how that kind of affects um, our chip strategies moving forward as well. So um, as always, if you do enjoy this video, help me out and give it a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you all so much for getting me to 700 subscribers and currently we are on a season target of 1,000 subscribers so I think we can do it but I'm gonna need every one of you guys' help so thank you all and really appreciate if you guys could help me hit that button. But let's get on with this video and basically um, let's start this off with some double game week announcements right so game week 31 has already been announced it's confirmed that Burnley will play uh, Everton as the extra game in game week 31 which gives them both uh, a, a double game week uh, so Burnley will play Manchester City and Everton at home and Everton will play West Ham and Burnley both away right so uh, what that means for us is given that that's a confirmed double game week uh, we can start to plan whether we want to keep some Burnley assets and Everton assets that are currently in our teams. Now, honestly, I don't think that this, this uh, Game Week 31 is a really great double game week. So, personally, for my team, I may not uh, actually want to bring in any of these um, double game week players because it kind of affects my strategy moving forward. But I will explain that later on. So, I actually don't think that it is necessary to kind of ship our teams uh, or shift value around so that we can bring in um, Burnley or Everton assets. But, um, you know, I will get into that later on my shift strategy. But for now, um, talking about Game Week 33, um, currently there are five confirmed double Game Weeks, right? So Leicester, Newcastle, Burnley, United and Brighton all will double for sure in um, double Game Week 33, right? So the other five fixtures in yellow, so Southampton, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City and Liverpool, they are all um, not confirmed yet. Even though these fixtures have been scheduled, these double game weeks are not confirmed for these teams. So it's simply because the FA Cup results over the weekend will determine whether these rescheduled games can actually happen or not. So based on the FA Cup results that uh, we would know over the weekend, um, if Liverpool, Man City and Chelsea qualify, uh, for the next round of the FA Cup, then in essence, they wouldn't be able to play their rescheduled games. And what that means is that they won't have a double game week 33, which is why I've kind of um, uh, put an asterisk beside Chelsea, Man City and Liverpool because the three of them are the favourites to progress to the next round and that would cause Leeds, Wolves and Aston Villa, as you can see highlighted in purple, to have a likely blank game week 33. Arsenal and Southampton will only have a single game week if somehow Southampton win Man City, right? So assuming that does not happen, then Southampton and Arsenal will have a double game week, which is why I haven't put the asterisk beside um, these two teams because it is likely City will win Southampton, allowing Southampton to then play their rescheduled game, giving Arsenal and Southampton both double game weeks, right? So we're looking at essentially three teams that are likely to blank. Leeds, Wolves and Aston Villa and 7 games that are likely to double 7 teams that are likely to double so Leicester, Newcastle, Burnley, United, Brighton, Southampton and Arsenal right, so looking at all these fixtures together um, Game Week 33 seems to be like a, a situation where we have a double game week and also a blank for some teams right? so this essentially is a really good time to use the free hit because most of us currently have quite a number of Wolves assets all these assets even and especially Aston Villa assets like Coutinho, right? So moving on to the best times to use our chips. As you can see on the table on the right hand side of the screen, the best time to use the free hit chip I feel is either in this game week, game week 30 where we are seeing the biggest uh, blank game week so far or we can save it for game week 33 where, which we just spoke about. Some teams blank, some teams double or we can save it for game week 37 which as mentioned it will be a similar situation uh, as game week 33 where we would see some teams blanking and some teams doubling as well right so uh, the free hit chip uh, would make sense to be used in either of these three game weeks and then in uh, for the wildcard chip 
there are three game weeks which I would recommend we can use it. So game week 31 is one of the game weeks where we can use it in game week 31 and set our team up for the double game week 31 and 33 fixtures that we already would know by now, right? Or we can uh, use the wildcard chip in game week 34 or 35. Um, 30 whether we use it in 34 or 35, the rationale would still be the same, right? And that's to set up for the bench boost in game week 36. So uh, as for the bench boost, I think it's pretty obvious that game week 36 would still be the largest um, game week that we would see as many as 10 to 12 teams doubling, right? So it would really make sense for us to use a bench boost then. So and so my own chip strategy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to free hit in game week uh, 33. And that's because I don't really have a lot of um, players that I would want in Game Week 33, such as uh, Leicester assets, Newcastle assets, and maybe United assets as well, right? So currently, my team also has a lot of Wolves uh, players, so maybe I wouldn't uh, be very well set up for Game Week 33, and that's why it makes sense for me to use it in Game Week 33. And then I will wildcard in Game Week 35 to set up for the bench boost in Game Week 36, right? So this is currently how my chip strategy is set up, but... For you guys, I would say that depending on how your team is set up, um, using the chips that you have at any of the times recommended at the uh, under the best times for chips table, um, it would make sense, right? So either ways, uh, the strategies that you guys deploy would depend on your team as always, right? So as long as the, the chips are used within these game weeks, it would really make sense and kind of maximize your points for you, right? So let's move on to the next segment of this video. Right, so for this next part of the video, I kind of want to give us an idea of how our Game Week 30 fixtures that are right upon us are looking. Right, so these are the four fixtures as, as we already know by now. So I just kind of want to highlight the, the teams that are slated to perform really well, right? So in terms of win percentage, Leicester is really up there with 67%. So the bookies are thinking that Leicester would kind of win um, Brentford quite comfortably. And as for the other teams that are likely to get wins as well, we have Spurs at 59%, we have Wolves at 55%, and also Arsenal at 44%. Right? And if we look at clean sheet percentages-wise, the, the team that is uh, predicted to have clean sheets with the highest percentage is still Leicester right? at 45%. They are predicted to keep a clean sheet against Brentford, possibly also because Brentford's uh, recent uh, you know, string of goals have come mainly from penalties that uh, Ivan Tony has taken, right? So, um, essentially, in terms of open play goals, Brentford really haven't um, scored a lot of them throughout the season as well, right? So, maybe that's why the bookies actually think that it's pretty likely that Leicester will keep a clean sheet. And then if we take a look at the other teams, the other uh, team that is standing out in terms of clean sheet odds is also Wolves at 40%. And then we also have Spurs at 36%, and then, uh, it c and then comes Arsenal at 30%, right? So having all these um, odds in our mind and also the, these predictions that the bookies have kind of gives us an idea of the transfers that we are making, whether what kind of returns we are, we are potentially looking at, right? If we're looking at bringing in Arsenal attackers, what's the chances of them, you know, getting a return? If we are looking at bringing in maybe... Uh, maybe Leicester, Leicester defenders, right? What's the chances of them getting uh, clean sheets for us, right? So um, in essence, this can kind of give us an idea of how Game Week 30 may turn out. So hopefully this is useful for you guys. All right, so on the screen right now is my team for Game Week 30. And as you guys can see, I'm not using the free hit chip, right? That's the first thing. And also secondly, I've made one transfer and that's to um, bring Tierney in and I've taken out Luca Dean right who's currently having a hamstring injury and seems like he'll be out for a pretty long time right so if we look at my team right away you can see I'm not even starting with 11 players right I am essentially fielding only 10 and with Bowen most likely not being able to play the game it kind of leaves me with um, nine players and then if Antonio also happens to not be able to start, that will leave me with 8 players. But regardless whether I start with 8 or 9 players, I'm still pretty confident that uh, it wouldn't really affect my score too much. And that's because um, in general, this is predicted to be a slightly lower uh, scoring game week. right? So I have kind of the key players that I would want to have from teams like Spurs, uh, Wolves and also um, Arsenal. right? Obviously, if I uh, were free hitting this week, this team would look very different, right? I may have players like maybe Martinelli, uh, maybe even Kane as well. But in terms of um, 
the assets that I have from these teams, I would say that uh, if we take a look at maybe Spurs, right? It's either you go for Kane and Son. I have Son, so I'm pretty fine. I also have two Spurs um, defenders, right? So that's okay as well. And then in terms of Arsenal players, I also have three Arsenal players. Maybe Smithrow isn't ideal, but in general, I wouldn't need to uh, worry too much because Smithrow is a player that I feel would come on whether or not he plays the full game. He will get some minutes and we've seen in the past how he's popped up with goals um, towards the end of the game when he's stopped on with just 10 minutes left to play. He can't even get a goal, right? So never doubting the quality of Smithrow here. And so essentially... Um, also considering the the Wolves players as well, they have a pretty good um, fixture against Leeds as well, right? And Kilman has um, come back into the team after being dropped for one game. So essentially, I'm pretty confident of this team. And in terms of captaincy-wise, I do have to captain Son, right? Because this week, captaincy either would be Kane or Son, right? Those are the two um, hot favourite picks right now. And I would say that because I don't have Kane, it makes sense for me to go for Son. And I'm going to vice-captain Saka. Um, just in case, you know, Son maybe doesn't play, right? So, um, in essence, I'm kind of lining up. Um, in my head, it seems to me like it will be nine players since Bowen essentially isn't going to play, right? So, nine players seems fine to me for game week 30, as I kind of mentioned in my free hit video as well, that if we start this game week with anywhere between seven to nine players, I think it's fine. We wouldn't be affected too much as well. So, um, with a low scoring game week upon us, I think kind of we do have to manage our expectations as well. And for those of us who aren't using a free hit, then it'll probably be a, a game week where we're kind of manage, we're trying to manage our red arrow, maybe not get uh, such a big one. But for now, uh, with my team set up like this, I think it's pretty all right. And um, I also am not taking a hit, right? So that's a plus where some, um, some teams may be taking a hit to kind of field 11 players as well. So... Um, moving forward, even though I'm not rolling the transfer, I think game week 31, I may want to take a hit, um, but that would um, you know, be subject to so many different um, changes. But for now, game week 30, this is how I'm lining up. I think I'm pretty all right. Let's hope um, if I get a red arrow, maybe it's not too big because we are kind of managing this game week. We're not attacking this game week, so I think it's fine. All right, so um, that's it for this video for now. Uh, hopefully it was useful for you guys and if it was do help me out and give it a like subscribe if you are new to the channel so that we can hit our season target of 1000 subscribers but for now that's all for this video and i will see you guys very soon in another one bye bye